everyone. Welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's time to clear some space, to gather everyone in together, roll out some mats and enjoy some family yoga time and show everyone how good you are at your yoga. Today we head to the rainforest to meet a special bird who is very good at making the most of every moment. Very, very clever. Let's see what we can learn for our own lives. everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way, by sitting on our bottom and crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now, let's have a look through the cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, look at the colours. Isn't it amazing? Oh, all the shapes. Can you see the picture? Oh, yes, it's a parrot. It's Desi the parrot. Oh, what's Desi doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing moon pose. Or is it banana pose? This is very exciting. We're off to meet Stezzy in the Brazilian rainforest. We're going to have to take a flight, so let's get ready. We roll our shoulders round and round. Lift them up and put them down. Lift up one, lift up two, put down one, put down two. Going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Then we reach our arms up very tall and keeping our bottoms firmly planted on the ground, we take our hands down in front of us like two flip-flops. Ready? Flip-flop. Flip-flop. Keep your bottom on the floor and let's flip-flop back again. Flip-flop, flip-flop, flip. Well done, everyone. It's time to get on the aeroplane. We come to two knees and we take our arms out wide. We take one hand down onto the ground and wave at the sky. We bring one foot in front of our knee and shoot our back leg out to the side. We lift our hip and we go... All the way round one way and then come on to the other side. Two knees, arms wide, drop down onto the other side, wave at the sky. Bring your foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you. Lift your hips and let's go now again. Ready? Here we are in Brazil. Ooh, it's very hot. We reach up to the sun and say, hello, sun. Ready? Here we go. <gasps> hello, sun. And here comes Stezzy flying towards us. Folding halfway down, take your wings down. Reach them up and lower them down. Up and lower them down. He lands in front of us, reaching his wings all the way up and doing a ruffly puffly with his beak as he lowers them down. <sighs> Arriba, R R. Welcome, Cosmic Kids. I need your help. All of my friends in the jungle, they keep complaining about being bored. I'm bored when it rains. I'm bored all the time. I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. Can you help me come up with some ideas? I'm sure we can. We may have said things like that before as well. But Stezzy leads the way through the very tall trees. Coming to one foot on top of the other, using your heel, your hands together at your heart, grow your tree up really tall. And because you're a tree in the rainforest, you're a very strong tree, aren't you? Hmm, let me see how strong you are. I'll try and blow you down. Ready? Doopy doopy doo. -doo, -doo, -doo. You are strong. What about the other side? Shall we try? Coming onto the other foot now, bring your foot on top of your other foot, hands together, grow up nice and tall. Now, can you close your eyes? <gasps> Ooh, gets a bit wobbly then, doesn't it? 
I think we should open them again. Well done, everyone. Now, Steady has led the way all the way through the trees. We now need to cross the river in a little boat. We sit down on our bottoms, take our hands behind, lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand and lift up no hands and give me a wave. Well done. We row this little boat across the river and Stezzy teaches us a new song for our row, row, row your boat. Ready? Lifting up one of your oars, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a little mouse, don't forget to squeak. Well done, everyone. And he teaches us another one on the other side. Take hold of your other oar. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion there, don't forget to roar. Ah, very good, everyone. We get out of the little boat and it starts to rain. Oh, well, I suppose we are in the rainforest. Here we go. Use your fingers and pitter-patter them all over your head. Ooh, and your face. Oh, that feels nice. All over your body, your tummy, down your legs. My goodness, can you reach your feet? And your arms all the way up and down. We see a cave. Jump your feet wide, hands above your head. And we go and take shelter. Inside the cave, coming down to sit, is a big, beautiful blue butterfly. Joining the soles of your feet together, hold on to your feet. This butterfly is called Macaroni and he lifts his wings and lowers them a bit glumly. Oh, I'm so bored. It's raining outside. I can't go out. I've got to stay in my cave. Oh, Macaroni, we know that feeling. But sometimes when you're bored, you just need to relax and let the ideas come in. Oh, we have an idea. Why don't we go upside down with a dog pose? Going upside down is a great way to refresh your mind. We show Stezzy and Macaroni how to do it. Coming onto your hands and your knees, everyone. Walk your hands forward a little bit. Tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky. Walk your feet in a tiny bit and then press yourself down into your dog pose. Woof, 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 woof. Coming all the way down again. Going upside down has given us some really good ideas. We spot in the back of Macaroni's cave a fancy dress box. Sitting on your bottoms, join the soles of your feet together, hold onto your feet and close your head down towards your feet like you're closing your fancy dress box. We open it up. Whoop. And inside we find lots of fun costumes from last year's Halloween. We stand up and we spin into them, spinning all the way round from one side to the other. Stezzy puts on a big white sheet and flies around the cave pretending to be a ghost, coming into flying pose. Turning to the side, find a spot to focus on in front of you, take your arms wide, lift up one of your feet, try not to wobble, and send your foot back behind you, coming into your flying pose. He even does ghost noises. And let's try it on the other side. Coming to face the other way now. Find a spot to focus on. Arms wide. Lift your foot. Try not to wobble. And send your foot out back behind you. Coming into your flying pose on the other side. Oop. Well done, everyone. Now, Macaroni finds some long black spider legs and turns himself into a spider. Take your feet wide, bend your knees and take your fingers down in between your feet. Then we go ticker, 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 ticker to the outside, turning ourselves into little spiders. And we find some bat wings. Standing up, everyone. We put the bat wings on our back. Then we turn to face the wrong way with our legs wide. We fold all the way forwards to look through our legs. Can you see me? Give me a wave. Hi! Well done, everyone. And look, 
outside, the sun's shining again, coming all the way up to stand, turning around, sitting on your bottoms and bring the soles of your feet back together again because Macaroni flutters away. He waves. Oh, thank you very much, everyone. I really enjoyed that. You've helped me learn how not to be bored. Now, after that, it's very muddy out here on the hill. In fact, it's turned into a mudslide. Point your toes all the way forwards. Take your hands back behind you and lift yourself up, coming into your slide pose. Now, Stezzy can fly down, but we're going down this mudslide surface style. So we stand up, we put one foot forward, one foot back and bend our knee. We take our arms out wide and we surf down the mud. Whee! We jump our feet the other way and we surf the other side too. The sun is going down and we cross a little bridge, sitting on your bottoms, knees bent, feet flat, hands behind you. Whoop. We're going to have a little rest in Stezzy's family nest. We stand up and we tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe inside. We don't want to wake up Stezzy's family. They're all having a nice sleep. Whoop. Sitting on your bottoms, cross your legs. We switch on a very lovely fan to keep us cool. Bringing your fingers in front of your mouth, do a long breath, ready? The blades of the fan go round and round and keep us lovely and cool. And we lie ourselves back in a bed of beautiful soft feathers, enjoying some lovely time to rest and be still after our incredible adventure in the jungle, in the rainforest. As we lie here, we think about how we help Macaroni learn not to be bored. And that actually, being bored is often a sign that we need to relax a little bit. We can get very busy and so, being bored is actually a good way of stopping for a moment, relaxing and making room for new ideas to come. So next time you feel bored, see if you can just relax and see what ideas spring to mind. We lie very still, enjoying this lovely, peaceful place. And then we start to wake ourselves up, wiggling our toes, our fingers, giving our knees a big hug into our chest and rocking over to one side, coming up to sit with our eyes open and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to Brazil to meet Stezzy with me. You were great. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye! I hope you enjoyed that. You were brilliant. Now it's time for a wonderful burst of energy to refresh our brains with a brilliant brain break. Today we're going to do a little call and response song called Walking Through the Jungle and there's lots of yoga poses to do along the way. I'll sing a line and then you sing it back. Let's go. We begin with a walk. Walking through the jungle What can I see? I can see a lion 
staring at me. Coming into lion pose, everyone. Down on your knees. After three, big roar to the sky. Ready? One, two, three. And let's carry on in the jungle. Coming to stand and walking. Walking through the jungle. What can I see? I can see a monkey jumping at me. Let's do a monkey jump coming all the way down to crouch. And after three, big jump in the air with a monkey call. Ready? One. Two, three, Woo -ah! wow, well done everyone. Coming up to stand and let's carry on in the jungle. Walking through the jungle, what can I see? I can see an elephant trumpeting at me. Wow, jump your feet wide everyone. Take your arm up to make your trunk and let's do a big loud trumpet sound. Ready? Ow! And all the way up. Well done everyone. Let's carry on through the jungle. Here we go. Walking through the jungle. What can I see? I can see a snake. Hissing at me. Coming down to lie on your tummies, everyone. Into your snake pose. Hands under your shoulders and wriggle, wriggle, wriggle up with a nice Oh, well done, everyone. Coming up to stand again. Let's carry on walking. Walking through the jungle. What can I see? I can see a tiger clawing at me. Coming down onto all fours, everyone. Let's try our tiger pose. Reach one arm out and see if you can reach your opposite leg at the same time. Oh, try not to wobble and do a big claw. And the other way, hand and knee come back down. Other arm goes out, other leg goes out. Ready? Fantastic. Coming up to stand and let's carry on. Walking through the jungle. What can I see? I can see a crocodile snapping at me. Let's come into crocodile pose. Lying on our sides, everyone. Make your arms as long as they'll go above your head. And then use your top arm to open and close your big crocodile teeth. Yes, snapping away. Oh my goodness me. Let's carry on through the jungle. Coming up to stand and walking. Walking through the jungle. What can I see? I can see a butterfly fluttering at me. Coming to sit on your bottoms, everyone. Joining the soles of your feet together, holding onto your toes so that you can stretch and flutter your butterfly wings. Now let's have a look at those beautiful butterfly colours. Let's lift up one wing. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Amazing! We've got pinks and oranges and reds and golds. Beautiful. Lowering that wing down, fluttering a little bit further. And then let's look under the other wing. One, two, three. Ooh. Amazing! Blues and greens and turquoise and silver. It's gorgeous. Lowering that one down, fluttering a bit further. Shall we look under both wings, both at the same time? Come on, I think we should, ready? After three, see if you can hold your balance. One, two, three. Ooh, amazing! All the colours of the rainbow! Lowering your feet back down, everyone. Well done. Thanks for walking through the jungle with me. Have an amazing day. 
was brilliant. Well done, you. Now we're going to get the wriggles out. We're going to use some energy with a really exciting game of super yoga. In super yoga, you copy the moves as they come down on the screen and you score points for doing the poses. And at the end, you get a lovely relaxation where all the goodness of the points goes into your body. I hope you love it. Super yoga!
You were great. Well done, you. Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. House pose. Standing with our feet nice and wide, like the walls, we sweep our arms up to bring them together above our head to make a pointy roof. Now, house pose is very good for giving us a big stretch up our sides and all the way up our spine. It's also used to be a tunnel, a rocket, or even a tent. Oh, now, who's this coming home? Oh, hello. hello. Welcome home. Who knew I had a mouse living in my house? The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Oh. Oh. Mouse Pose. Coming down to kneel, with your big toes to touch, taking your knees nice and wide to make some space. Now fold your body all the way forwards, letting your head rest on the floor, your arms down by your side. And let's have a little squeak, 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 like a little mouse. Ah, now the thing I love about mouse pose is that it soothes your mind and it lets your whole body feel lovely and relaxed. Let's just stay here for a while and enjoy a little rest. And if you stay here long enough, you may even grow some ears and a tail. <laughs> well done, that was great. Now we have a lovely Peace Out for you. Peace Out is our guided relaxation series and it really helps your brain and your body totally calm and chill out. It's very, very good for you and I hope you feel wonderful afterwards. Peace Out Rainbow Waterfall Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Your place to feel cosmically calm and ready for anything. To make your Peace Out work brilliantly, it's important that you feel super comfortable. So, let's do that now. Find yourself a spot. You can lie on your back, or your front, or your side, or just sit. You decide. Find what feels good, and then get settled. Do any last fidgets or wriggles. That's it just so you feel happy to be still for a few minutes. That's all it is. Just a few magic minutes and your body and brain will be a bit stronger. If you do a few minutes every day, you'll soon start to notice how much happier and stronger you feel. Maybe try it for a few days and see for yourself. I really like it. Let's get ready to open the special door in our mind so we can go on a fun journey. Start with your eyes open and take some big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. 
that's it. And the next time you breathe out, let your eyes softly close. Well done. Now, make sure your body is as floppy as can be. Your arms and legs so heavy that if I picked them up, they would feel like cooked spaghetti. That's super floppy. Now you're as floppy as can be and your eyes are closed. Listen to the words and follow the journey. Letting the pictures appear in your mind. And if you can't see anything in your mind right away, don't worry. Just be peaceful. Breathe. Keep listening. And after a while, they will start to appear. Now we begin. You are standing in a forest. Everywhere you look, you see trees. Tall and sturdy brown tree trunks with branches covered in bushy green leaves. The sunlight peeps through the leaves of the trees, making it look so magical. You hear rustling and see a little squirrel busy looking for something in the fallen leaves on the ground. Maybe she is making a nest. Or looking for food, you think. She finds whatever she was looking for and darts up one of the huge tree trunks, running up the tree bark to her home in the trees. You carry on following the path that winds through the forest. It leads you to the side of a little stream. The water trickles along, bubbling and babbling over the pebbles. Where is it going, you wonder? You keep following alongside it on the path, and the water flows even faster. Now you see where it's going. You hear it too. It whooshes over a big rock, making the most beautiful waterfall, which lands in a pool below. You climb down the side of the waterfall and sneak in behind the falling water to stand on a flat rock right behind it. Here you see the sunshine meet the waterfall and make an amazing rainbow right before your eyes. You take a breath and step forward into the waterfall and you feel the rainbow wash over your body. The water feels fresh and cool and the colours, oh, the colours, they bring a magical warmth. You feel each colour run through you. Each one feels different. Notice how they feel in your body now. First, the red. Then orange. Now the yellow. and the green. Blue. Indigo. And lastly, violet. 
all the colours. You feel them all as they wash and flow through you. Your body feels lighter and sparkles as your worries disappear. Now you step back from the rainbow waterfall, feeling peaceful and clear. You're all dry too. It's magic. You smile and remember how the colours made the different feelings inside you. It's good to notice your feelings and also see where they come from. Your time here at the Rainbow Waterfall has helped you learn a bit more about your feelings and maybe even notice where in your body you felt them. It's time to return back again. Just notice your body right now. How it feels where you are lying or sitting. Where it touches the floor or the chair beneath you. See if you can hear any sounds around you. Take a big breath in and sigh out of your mouth and gently open your eyes. As you begin to move, have a nice big stretch and just sit back for a moment. Ah, how is that? After your time doing peace out, maybe you feel a little different to how you did before. Possibly calmer, maybe even a little tired. Well done. Be pleased with yourself for taking this time to give your body and mind a special treat. This is Jamie saying peace out.